Hello friends, welcome to this online series of lectures on industry 4.0. In this lecture, we are going to focus on the new product or process development. This is the phase, it follows the strategy phase. From strategy phase, the company will look into the new product and process development. So let's start. So first of all, we will start with the introduction of new product and process development. What do you mean by new product and process development? Then we will look into the <coughs> definitions in terms of industry 4.0, which is pertaining to industry 4.0. Then we will focus on the objectives. What are the objectives for the company if the company wants to implement uh, the new products? The company wants to launch new product or processes portfolios. What are the objectives? And then we will look into the industry 4.0 NPD or new product development. So, what do you mean by product portfolio? A company, <coughs> uh, uh, you, you can say that the company offers variety of products and processes. So, this set of all the products and processes uh, is nothing but the product portfolio. For example, if we talk about Apple. They have from screen sizes, if you see from the image, from different screen sizes, they have different products. So this whole set is the product portfolio for the Apple. So let's talk about what do you mean by new product development. <coughs> it is the whole process of bringing about the product into the market, starting from the uh, development phase, from conceptualization phase to the uh, commercialization. This whole process is nothing but new product development. Talking about the objectives, the first and the foremost is the ultimate customer satisfaction. Whatever the customer demand is there, their features they want, the company will try to achieve those kind of um, features in incorporating these features into the design of the product. Then you have the objectives in the case of optimum allocations or you can say resource utilization. Whatever resources you have, raw materials, men, machines, you will utilize them within the organizations to achieve this product launches that you want to achieve with the help of new product development. <clears throat> then also you want to alter the design. Let's say, for example, I will give an example for this new product development. First of all, uh, talking about car manufacturer Kia, the Kia Seltos is the new product, right? If you talk about Kia within in India, right? It's a global company, but in India, you, if you talk about the new product for Kia in India is Yes, Altos. So that is the new product, right? And <coughs> talking about Wagonar, the modified Wagonar, it is the upgraded version of uh, the old Wagonar for the Maruti Suzuki. Now, why the company is developing this new upgraded Wagonar? Because if you see, they want to improve the older versions to get to the newer versions. And therefore, they want to develop new products such as Wagonar or sometimes completely new products. Let's say, for example, Kia Seltos. Now let's look into the what, what is the process for new product development. Now this process you will also learn in, in the subject new product development, product uh, design and development PDD. Here as well in uh, this whole uh, processes, so we're starting with the idea generation, right? Whatever the company has different ideas, the company will come about with one plus <coughs> three and they had thousands of ideas, right? Out of those ideas, they will uh, screen the ideas, whatever the feasible ones and whatever the redundant one, they will remove them, which are not feasible ones, right? They will screen those ideas uh, and they will convert them into the concept, right? Once they develop the concept, whatever the concept which is viable for them for the further development, they, again, there will be hundreds of concepts. Same with if you talk about one plus three, they, the company had almost hundreds of uh, concepts with them. Out of those concepts, only few get selected for the further development. After that, you select the concept which is will be converted into the <coughs> actual product. You will also decide about the marketing strategy. Whatever the see, first strategy we looked into that was regarding the industry 4.0 implementation. After that, this process follows, which is the new product development, new product and process development. In this regard, for developing a new product, you also have set to have the strategies for the marketing. You already decide beforehand, even before launching the product. So these strategies you decide in this phase. After that, you analyze the business, if it is a viable or not, 
profit and loss analysis in the ideal scenarios <clears throat> you will also look into the threats in terms of competitors right how will you penetrate the how will you segment where will be your product will be placed within the market all this analysis will be done under this phase of business analysis you will come up with the business plans and then finally then you will look into the product development what do you mean by that product development you will also look into the engineering aspects um, from where you have developed uh, you have developed the concepts you will look into the detail engineering designs you will test these designs <coughs> under under experimental conditions so that if it is running uh, properly or not right simulated uh, environment you will run this uh, product prototypes right you will develop the prototypes as well once you develop these prototypes uh, under series of actions you will test uh, once you finalize the final uh, product you will test that product in the initial market you can say as a pilot testing uh, as an example you might have seen fmcg product uh, being brought into the market as a pilot product right, to check what the customers are responding to that kind of a product so after that once if it is uh, viable or you can say if it is successful uh, in the pilot stage the company will start commercializing that product so this whole process from idea generations thousands of ideas are there for the um, to convert into the product <clears throat> out of those ideas very few are they have converted into concepts from from the concepts very few concepts out of two three concepts only one concept is being converted into the product so this whole process is nothing but the new product or process development process <clears throat> so if we talk about technical perspectives in case of industry 4.0 implementations three technical perspectives are there if we talk about new product development or process development when we are incorporating industry 4.0 in the uh, industry <clears throat> or company so starting with the budget and partnerships what budget do you have what resources do you have and what partnerships do you want to do when you are implementing when you are incorporating the technologies which are the key components of industry 4.0 in your company you will look into the first perspective of big budget and partnerships right second is the seven savings revenues and risk what is the risk involved if you are going to use uh, what savings you have right what risk is involved when you are using this kind of certain technologies and finally what are the projects you will be focusing on when you are implementing this industry 4.0 technology so if we talk about product and process projects you will divide them based on the different technologies here if you see uh, these are divided based on the budget and partnership requirements these metrics are made so that you can disintegrate based on the different technologies you are employing in the <coughs> industry 4.0 implementation for the new product development right after that what you can do is you can uh, you can disintegrate into product projects and process projects you have different uh, projects but focusing on the product and the process you will also incorporate the technologies different technologies right based on budget and partnership now final matrix if you see it will be based on the product wise so first of all we looked into the budget and partnership requirement now here we are focusing on savings revenues and risk if we are implementing a certain you can say industry 4.0 technologies so based on different products you will be incorporating these technologies into the products so you will find out what are the savings revenues and risk involved right in terms of numbers you will also look into the different projects based on processes as well so you will classify them based on products and processes right and you will also incorporate this prioritization matrix of savings revenues and risk now if we talk about portfolio selections we already discussed the portfolios are from the product and processes are the set of different Com different products and processes the companies offers to the market right now if we talk about on the x axis if you see here the risk percentage if we talk about right and on the y axis you have the savings and revenue percentages so starting with the first one if we talk about this round this round symbols are nothing but the project portfolios right so starting with the low risk and low revenue and low savings projects are there right if we talk about when you go from uh, in the timeline when the risk is involved right you have then medium risk medium savings and revenue and medium 
medium savings and medium revenue projects are there. Now these projects comprises of product projects as well as the process projects. And the finally you have the high risk, high saving and high revenue projects. So this kind of timelines is that based on the risk as well as the savings and revenue percentages. So you, you can select these projects based on this risk, savings and revenues, right? <clears throat> Such that you will select those kind of portfolios which are favorable for the company. Now here, if we talk about the roadmaps, we have discussed on the X axis, if you see, this time horizon is given, right? Time from timeline is given from past to the future. If we are incorporating this portfolios on Y axis, you have different portfolios. Now portfolios again, as discussed, they are comprising of product portfolios as well as the process for portfolios. Now, if you see here, this matrix, they have different milestones based on the time horizon. They have milestones specifically for the product. If we are incorporating key technologies or industry product or technologies into the products, you have this roadmap based on different portfolios and based on different time horizons. And you also have the process portfolios based on these key technologies. So you have, see this is just a, a framework or you can say this outline for this portfolio roadmap. You can have the pro product portfolios as well as process portfolios based on the time horizons and different uh, classification of portfolios. So company can come up with these kind of roadmaps for the implementations of industry 4.0 in case of new product and process development. So that's all from today's lecture. In this lecture, we have learned what do you mean by new product and process development. So this is general a framework or you can say general outline of new product and process development the company is adopting. You will learn in detail in one of the subject uh, product design and development entrepreneurship. Right? Also, we have also discussed this uh, new product NPD, new product development <coughs> in this lecture. What are the phases? What are the steps involved? What are the objectives of new product development? process development. We also looked into the NPD in case of the industry 4.0. What are the phases involved? Right? And then finally, we looked into this portfolio selections, how the company is going to select the portfolios if they are coming up with the implementing industry 4.0 in the new product and process development.